No, well. <laughs> So I tweaked this deck a lot from today, yesterday, gonna do my tests for it, but I basically made this less greedy than yesterday, since I figure Stalking Shadows is a lot of value and it's flexible in the sense that I can get high value cards if I, if I want. I can do it basically however I want. So I only use two now, two Stalking Shadows, two Riptide. Not, not too greedy. I'm surprised he's playing more before attacking. He knows I have this. I guess his figure is... It's terrible anyways if I have Make It Rain. Um, same as Diana. I might wait for Diana, actually. Lunari, rise! Since I already do too, I might as well wait for Diana. Diana free kills this. We were peaceful once. I'm not gonna play Jaw, there's not really good targets for it. Stole the Russians, shackle the prisoners! Probably this into Butcher, so I just wanna not play this first, obviously, and I want him to play more. He might just pass with this initiative. He has two mana now. If he passes, I don't think I pass, especially with this. So it'd be pretty smart for him to pass here. He wants a blocker. Well, fading that. We will be free. Only a fool would enter battle unprepared. Suppose you want in on this. I suppose I should leave you be. Let's get to it! If I attack with just these two, his 2-1 can't value block anything, and it's always useful at least to block the 4-3. Take 3. If I attack with everything here... Oh, this blocks this. Takes 9. He can just take 9 though, and at least one more unit. Yeah, I think it's better to attack with everything. Some time. You cannot hold us down. I gotta be careful playing GP next turn because is the one true light. he can um overwhelm me for five and I can't block. If he just attacks at this block block, GP after combat. Deal me in. Yeah, gold card kills it, it's ephemeral, so. Hold it, partner. One thing would have been interesting is if he had the plus two attack buff here. Cold. That, that would have been pretty scary. The moon is our queen, the night, her kingdom! Devotion to battle! I will be heard! Mm. 
You got legs. Use them. Kind of a weird hand here next term. Gotta trust your Say your farewells. Cause I probably won't open attack next turn. If he plays anything bigger than 3-3, I can't attack him with the 3-3 next turn. Whereas I had an open attack if he doesn't want to jump with Diana. Now see, I think we can't GP here. We have no finishers for this overwhelm damage. So these two, I should pay attention. These two cards are the same. Yeah, three three will be two two. So it's like, well, whatever. That would take three damage for that. To have a three three and hit him having a two two. I, I don't think so. I don't think I think three damage for me is worth more. Wait, did he play a Doom Beast from there? He played it from. I didn't pay attention. This is a Nightfall unit. Nocturne needs Nightfall attackers. Like, I think if he played another Nightfall, like Nocturne and both attacked, it would flip. I guess we play something left's committal now first. Knows me Our goal is to T Rex, so the Overwhelm will be really nice. I mean, I'm not too scared of this. He's already used his attack. These two are the same card, right? No, never mind. I think it's another Doom Beast. So he has an ephemeral Doom Beast and an ephemeral Fading Memories. So whatever I play is probably ephemeraling. Can't get damage in for T-Rex. Not that T-Rex is even that good here. I think it's just a uh, shipwreck order, force a chump block. Force, force an ephemeral and don't even attack, I guess. Wait, is that even better than just TF for two? Right? Oh wait, AoE for two, because the thing will die. Like, what is the point of this? I like this because I also get to attack with TF since it has Quick Strike, whereas Hoarder just gets blocked by his Ephemeral unit, which is already effectively dead. Oh wait, that doesn't even make sense. Oops, I kind of threw that. I wonder why I played that though. Sign next sex. I mean, sure, that, that doesn't matter to me. <laughs> Okay, so the good thing here is that he's not already leveled. Wait, that's he can't shrink my guys. I guess this should be fine. Their decks with even if blood. even if he attacks with this, giving everything fearsome, like say this is a minion. I can always block Not one of his the units. Of blood and sweat. The dead don't need riches. Okay.
WCG Warcraft 3 is back. Team USA is calling you out of retirement. Mm, interesting. Stop them from fleeing. I actually did play some Warcraft 3 like uh, last month. I was playing some ladder games. There didn't seem to be a ladder, so it was just first random people. I won like 35 games in a row, then lost one game, and then I quit. But it was fun. There is a ladder. There's a pro ladder. Oh, interesting. That everyone is on. Oh, like a custom thing? Like when I used to play, I used to that GGC, Good Game Arena, or something like that. I, I forgot. But oh, I see, I see. Interesting. That's probably why I was playing versus just new people. You deal it, it still runs through. Oh, I see, I see. Oh, okay, that's cool. If I want to play it, maybe I'll check that out. Because, yeah, last time I tried, I was like, this is just random. Like, just no, there's no ladder. It's like random people, no ranked. Moon, oh, uh, Moonglade, not Sphere Moon. I remember Moonglade, too. He was Australian, right? Sonky, I remember those people. <laughs> this is a lot, long time ago. So when I was a kid, and I'm old now, so it's crazy. Right, let me see what I get. Safety will cost you. Yeah, I mean, honestly, like, I'm not feeling like I would want to compete in Warcraft Three or anything like that. It's just kind of for fun, right? But. Corpses of a mole. Captain's arrived. I do want to compete in Runeterra, so. You've concerns, do ya? TF Swain is not better than TF GP. Well, maybe hero-wise, but those are just heroes. It's not that. Right. You, you can't be TF Swain if you want to run Smooth Soloist, for example, since. Wait, can you? I guess you can, because you could drop you could drop this. But okay, so I, I like this a lot though where I'm at because um, for a smooth soloist deck, it goes really really well stalking shadows. And the way I have it built today is much better than yesterday. I have a lot more early game. I actually, I actually took out. The black market merchants because it was overkill like i have so much value from stalking shadows and dreadway that i don't need cards like black market merchant i guess i also had like the draw card or something Dr draw release what is it hmm. like zap spray fin these cards are slow i ended up like making my early game stronger i'll adding hard guy and draw hunters and cutting down on the number of this but it's still really strong because this is flexible on what you discover, um, you can choose to boost your mana curve higher or lower as you see fit in the matchup, right? So, and having flexibility on mana is really good with Swiss Hillis since, you know, once you start playing them, you want to take higher mana stuff often because you just play everything. But yeah, that's a different deck. Honestly, RTS games are ridiculously stressful. They're fun to watch. They're fun, but so stressful. They are. I mean, yeah, I, I feel yeah. I used to be a pro StarCraft player as well. It was definitely really stressful. I liked it at the time. I was really young too. You know, it was it was it was it was, it was really fun for me at the time. But genre kind of died out. I wish. I don't know. Like, I kind of don't want to play RTS if it's like kind of a dead genre. If that makes sense. Like, I, it feels. A lot more popular, I would be down to play more. I can't decide if this is a ramp deck or not with Trundle Ash. I wasn't sure if I want to keep TF for the AoE. My guess is it's somewhat of a rampy deck. Age of Empires is the only RTS that still feels fun to play. 
So maybe because it's not really competitive, right? From what I remember, I used to play a ton of Age of Empires. Is he baiting me to play this thing? I guess I'll still play it anyways. We have no spells. So he can attack me turn four. Maybe I just play this then. Nothing like the stink yeah, that of makes more sense, sweat. right? Because he'll just attack me on turn four and kill my power gag. I don't even have a spell. My guess is this is actually ramp. Unfortunately, I can't. Time to get rich. I have to let him catalyst here. I would rather just like pass and see what he does, right? Oh, but Kalos are healing him. I guess that doesn't really make sense. My thought process, because he can just open Kalos and only lose one. Patience. Ooh, so annoying. Because usually, if they now avalanche after they play minions, he hurts his own minions. But because this is a 3-3, it doesn't die to Avalanche. I think I just gotta play it though. I gotta keep up with him. And then him playing minions suggests that he is not an Avalanche deck. We have this next turn. I just want 2-3 attack units. So I can block Ash. I'm gonna tr try to trade it for um, a freeze. Alright, whatever I get is fine in this situation. Oh, he might trundle me. If he's using Ash and Trinnel, it's probably using Troll Chant. My chances of killing it... Oh, do you want to go back to work? ...is really low. By vulnerability. I think it's better off for me to open attack here, then. No I can all just down. go Power Keg plus Withering, anyways. Tread carefully. What do you think of the expansion? Oh, wow, I see something. Uh, I think it's I, I think it's decent. I thought that the cards maybe it's not strong enough. It's kind of a small expansion, TBH. The Targon is a big addition because it's a new faction, but there's not that many cards now. The more I play, I don't feel like Targon is that strong. So I don't know. I mean, it's it's not it's not terrible at the very least. That's for sure. No trundles, good for me. Carnage. Can use my mana here on the keg. Didn't know the boss had said he can't pull it next turn. No much, do Actually, the good thing on the keg for him is he can pull it with Ash, so he can get one more freeze in. But that's whatever, whatever. I can, I can just wither before it dies. It can't be. Okay, so. My goal is to lose two units here so I can play this and have six units again. Open attack him so I can activate this. King of Trolls coming through. He might not attack me, but I mean, what? I can't really do anything if he doesn't attack me. Pulls this for sure, right? This is, probably doesn't kill Ash with anything, might as well just pull with the 1-2. The one, the one, 
full chance, I'm guessing. Wow, that's incredibly inefficient. I'd be sad if he stopped all three of them. Then I can't smooth soloist. But if I get the smooth soloist off, I might be able to do these in the same turn. Six plus two, yeah. Close your eyes. So I can use TF to activate Riptide. Unfortunately for me, Ice Pillar is really good against T Rex. Kind of a natural little counter. I don't think I stun, Ray. I really need the T Rex. Get bloody, get paid. What did you catch? Deal me in. So it's first because like uh, he takes more damage. Playing more into TF. I guess I could have thought the other way, like maybe I, I could get this off before he even attacks, but I didn't think that would happen. Get beat in RTS from early aggression where the opponent totally out and curse you to the kill scheme. Oh. So I take a little bit less damage like this, 2-3 versus 2-2, two, two, and it's a little bit easier to kill with Riptide. I think I try it. It's so important for me to kill Trundle here. Alright, YOLO. Did I get Trundle? I got two on it. Oh yes, that's what I needed. I got lucky not wasting a lot on Ice Killer too. I think not a lot. In the cart. Card games are nice. Like, I feel like depending on what kind, of, like what you like, card games are nice on the side. I've been playing so long, I almost feel like it's not super good as a main game, unless you're like a pro or something where you're making money, but. People usually can't, like, say, like, I got addicted to Valor and I can play, like, t 10 hours a day and just feel like I'm having fun, right? It's, I feel like card games, it's hard to really feel like you want to play 10 hours a day, but it's really fun to play on the side, honestly. What's better right now? MF, TO, Sejuani, TP, MF, what's, what's TO? I'm trying to think what that means. A oh, GP, GP. How'd you get from TO to GP? Oh, this is an elusive aggro deck. I'm not keeping smooth, so let's... I usually keep it versus any slow matchup. Uh, MFGP, Sojourney GP. I would say Sojourney GP is better. I'll burn for what I've done. It's pretty decent. I don't think MFGP is just very good at all. Also, if I activate plunder, I guess no. it's obvious. Coming in hot! Nothing like the stink of blood and sweat. We don't have an answer to Zed, unfortunately, at all right now. I am the blade in the darkness. Got something for him! Ooh, it's gross. Who's that you got there? We have to block Zed so we can kill with TF. Instead of blocking this. Once it flips, I can't. Deal me in. Hello, Strife Crow, big fan since your Arson days. Glad to see you on the scan. Sorry, welcome. 
That's a piece of our zone. <laughs> I think so. Honestly, I think MF Tower could be a good deck. Tark Freeze, the issues. MF has not being able to attack. That's true, but the, you, also, you need a lot of things, unfortunately. Each of those, like, e MF requires scouts, right? Because you, you have to attack four times. Uh, and Tark needs buffs. It's kind of hard to fit everything for both of those heroes, if that makes sense. What game is that I was addicted to? I was addicted to Valorant for a little bit. This game is just looking terrible for me. The whole Z thing early. Uh, okay. Yeah, I do my best here. Is you're bluffing. It's just like this. Noxus lives on. I am the shadow. My skill is unrivaled. I rarely forget and never forgive. You can nab the deck. Um, if you're on uh, PC, there, sh there should be an extension where you can see what I'm playing. This isn't the end. Okay, with, with how much early game we, ha we have, we should be. Good in this matchup. Let's see if find it. A little iffy. I want like TF, make it rain. But at least we have one, two, three. This makes rain pretty good now. Bounty board knows me now. I don't care about the damage. I'm trying to play for board here. So um, I want to get a good at like Success. this kind of get thing in. Yeah. Time to make some coin. Time to get rich. Try to make a trundle ramp a GP Dreadway kind of work. <laughs> kind of. Ooh, Bark Beast, not bad at all. I don't think he can even attack because of that, yeah. He, if he doesn't attack, he's super weak to TF, but... Does he ever take 7? Like, if I do this and just block that with the 2-2? Two -two? I don't even want to attack this into the 1-1, one -one, though. Unless I buff Bark Beast. It does make sense in that regard. Wait, I kind of like this, actually. One one block this. Because of Bark Beast, I, I like it, I think. Yeah, he is doing that. I don't mind this too much because of uh, Make It Rain here. It's still pretty good once I do this one. But their soul work. I salute you. Having a great day so far. Yeah, pretty good. Got some food. Went to see animal shelter. Even though it was closed. Uh, no, I don't think their soul would work. I, mean, I guess you could pull a soul, but it, I feel like it's if all you're doing is threshold without a lot of early game minions and stuff like that. I don't think the threshold flip is the same thing. It's too much of a dream. Time for the main event. I have a pretty low opinion of. Of a soul right now, honestly. I guess I bluff TF here. I think I don't have it. There's no reason to play anything. I don't need a blocker for any of these right now. I stand for Noxus. Yeah, you don't want to cross me. Oh, that's actually pretty sweet. If I fall, so be it. Ooh, 
Still got some fight in ya. Either do with both three threes, or bo or a two one and a two two with Brothers Bond. Because I'm weak to Mystic Shot anyways, once I do it with one of them, right? But if I do it both 3 throughs, I'm not weak to any Mystic Shot. Maybe I play safe here. I think I actually gotta take a risk and push it. Because my hand is so bad. If my hand was even decent, I think I would just play safe. I don't have a curve next turn, and he's already at 10 damage, so I actually want to go aggressive. He can have Jinx and beat me this game in a value game because of this hand. Safety will I was thinking if I want to bluff TF playing this first, but I don't think that's the bluff is that important. He doesn't really want to block with these. I know he has a Draven from this. Me too, kiddo. Me too. Didn't know the boss had said for ye. Don't know much, do ya? It's a big dream for that to work, yeah. The crowd's ready. Got the Let's dream though. Yeah, okay. Hey, buddy, what you doing? Time for the money makers. That's a yikes! No! Boys? At least he didn't have the second Draven. What is flipped? It's actually possible I just shouldn't have attacked there. Honestly, the more I think about it. Rules are made to be broken. Like buildings. Or people. You should try blinking sometime. Watch your step! Come on, fish bones! I don't wanna! I kind of threw this game with that attack. I mean, of course I didn't know I was going to draw Withering well, but it just Ouch. wasn't that good. Now it's a party! Wait, I get pushed for three free. He's gonna play stuff anyway, so this isn't really good. I think what I do is attack first. He's never gonna block here, so three free damage. And then Oh yeah, he's no, he's not scared of T-Rex, so he knows I have warning shots. I'm actually one damage off. He wants to dump everything and, and play the four damage, right? So I'm gonna wait to play this. Oh, interesting. I'm I'm okay with that. He's dead now. Watch your step. Hello? Oh, hello. Thank you, dogs. What's up? Doing here? Are you going to know the badge? I mean, maybe. I'm not sure. I have like a tiny build book, but this is the only one I have. <laughs> Do you want it? Okay. Do you... I'll bring it back to you. Sure. Right here. 
I used to take notes for my Hearthstone tournament matches with this book or something, but I'm very much never used it. Okay. So. Was it supposed to be a journal? Is that what no, it was? No, a journal. Okay. It, it's, it was like note taking for a card game. Oh, okay. Yeah, when I went to tournaments. Okay. But, thank, thank you. Yeah, no problem. Are you streaming? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Come on. No, no problem. Oh, well, the chair won. <laughs> no hands win. Oh, he knew he was dead because I had two warning shots. That I, th I think they were both revealed. Huh? Um... Uh, I want to kill Maokai so bad with Jaw Hunters. But there's like Maker Rain and Val Feast in this map. I don't know if people run it, is the thing. I might just keep. The thing about Maokai is that if he plays Maokai on 4... I'm actually going to pass this one. Because he's baiting me there. But also I want to save spell mana for, for Make It Rain and I wouldn't be able to do that. Vessel small, but she ain't lacking courage. No, it's good. It's strong. That's why it's there. Okay. Wait, why did not open attack? Me. Set the hooks. We know the value of coin. Looking at this hand, I'm probably going to want to make it rain with the barrel soon. I have too many cards in my hand, anyways. I think he is waiting not to do this stuff because he has Withering Whale as my guess. I might try to kill it if I get lucky here. It almost seems like he doesn't have another minion because he didn't create the sampling this turn. I want to kill his ASAP before he tosses too much, right? He didn't even get the toss. Oh, I missed it. My guess is I just try to make it rain so I don't lose a unit. Alright, uh, let me see what I get. I'm almost sure I don't vengeance any of these though, because I want to vengeance Nautilus.
If it hits it, it's worth it. Activates this as well. Suppose you want in on this. My next card is probably Stalking Shadows, which is actually a good card to get here. Because I need the value, or I need something... I don't know, I have a big hand. I guess I, I, I want a specific card. But it's probably too late, huh? Oh, it's Withering Will. I was hoping it was, it was the other one. Boys! I guess you can go deep here. I still attack with everything no matter what. Okay, so I don't need to save mana here. The moment he plays Nautilus, I need a vengeance. Oh, yeah, okay, I guess the options, but I obviously can't um, rip tight against this. I got so lucky with this, actually. Because he probably has a bunch of sea monsters that he could play for free right now. Especially after Pale Lord of the Depths. So, I probably stop from playing three sea monsters here. We have a chance. Because he can only play one blocker next turn. So if he blocks my biggest, I have lethal. Hopefully it doesn't have Ruination, but it's rarely run in this deck. Even in Ruination, if he doesn't have another Nautilus, I can still drag away and win, but... Wait, what? Is he not dead? Okay. The worst thing I have is Ruination, then Nautilus next turn, and I think I lose that. Because he can play like 4 sea monsters with the Nautilus. Oh, interesting. That's like a two for one. I didn't even think about that. Alright, if we get him to two, we can kill him still. So what is the point of that withering well? I guess he just wanted to do it. It scared maybe I had double warning shot or something. Yes! No, okay, he didn't play another Nautilus. I don't think he can win, because there's no way he kill us this, this turn. Without Nautilus, right? Because he can't kill us unless he plays Sea Monsters for cheap. So this is pretty free now. I don't even care what happens with this Maokai. We don't need any cards to win. We have enough just in our hand, right? In fact, it's good to draw the GP before he mills us. But this is easily enough damage with, with the double here. Barrel, two barrels, Protect two nukes. And life eternal. This is my deck. These are all heroes. Two not he didn't have Nalus, I think, this turn. He could push two here. He pulls that and then attacks with everything. He might as he should have might as well attack with got legs. Use them. that or a two free damage. Why did not attack with that? Let's 
gonna be at 11. I can do TF. I can do this, this, this. Hmm. Oh, wait. I got another way. I like this. I'm gonna open attack. He can't block him without Fearsome. Oh, yeah, I do double. I forgot the double. That's right. He shouldn't have attacked with both, though. He needed one to block this. We win. Oh, I should have done that. That's dumb, but it's, it's probably fine. Oh, why didn't I do this? Why not withering whale? Close your eyes and drift away. Cause I'm killing him. I'm not wasting mana on withering whale. Be nothing left when I'm done. But yeah, I actually messed up. I should have used my dreadway for double damage shot. And then I can use the barrel with TF. For some reason I was thinking like I would just use the barrel on the shot, but it doesn't make sense because I could use the barrel on the TF. Is this the same person? That's kind of lame. I have a really good hand here. Nothing but the stink of blood and sweat. I deal in coins and carnage. Let's get to it. Oh, it's a different person. Kind of weird for him, he has to do something. Yeah, if he... He basically can't bluff Avalanche here because I used all my mana and he didn't. I'm almost like less scared of Avalanche there than Trundle, honestly. Many tribes under one banner. I'm gonna give him the barrel. It's not worth it for any waste time, man. Avarosans, stand together! I have a second GP, so trading off is fine. I don't think Jaw Hunters is viable here because of uh, Ruination. Let's get to it. Stand and defend. Now I don't even think I'll get five. It's likely I'll just get three here because two and probably die spell if I do this attack. Son of a. Shouldn't be too bad though. Coward. <laughs> oh, 
Neither the flames nor the deaths can claim me, Captain. I want to spend as much as mana as I can after my attack here. Because if he ruinations, then I can play refill up with other stuff. But since it's his initiative, if this is enough, he can't just open pass next turn. Is the goal. I smell a fight. Looks like I'm taking a he can just pull pull the powder keg or something. I don't mind taking eight, honestly. Letting get golden glory. Attack! I would. I don't even want to block it with any of these. That's why, because I'm trying to push as much as I can next turn. Like, that's why I chose to do it, not just Withering Will immediately. Wait, after you attack, put the Jaw Hunters first. Okay, so at least this is dead. I don't think this is so this. Cause okay, so if I smooth Solist, I can just die to this Trindomir with Battle Fury. Now we put him on the spot. If you War Mothers, he'll have two blockers next turn, but I can try to go a little bit wider. Otherwise, if you like, say, Ruinations, I can just, uh... Flood the board, hopefully, again a little bit. Okay, well, whatever, I guess. Surrender to the melody. I really need to kill him with an open attack here. I guess even if we block, then I play this. We can pull it and... Probably not with the amount of healing, huh? If I go to one die, I'll probably die to atrocity. King of Trolls coming through. All oh, right, he has two blockers. I'll, I'll never win like this. I, I gotta go for something weird. Stare at the abyss. It'll stare back. Shiver in your boots. You're in my kingdom now. Lose yourself. If I play anything else, he can ruination. I think he put this. Relax. Oh, we can block right next turn. Close 
close your eyes and drift away. I had to double chump here, you huh? Stay. I'm not done yet. Play on. Ugh. I'm always up for a round or two. As the serpentine. I'm not greedy. My friends, though. Mm -hmm. It's only sea monsters are fearsome. I thought that would even matter, I guess. She'll have four units. I don't I don't have enough to get through. Even if I will here. Safety will cost you. I never get any threats from him. All right, this is over. Huh? Didn't see that coming. Uh, I think that deck is too. 